Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of How I Make This Beat. As you know that Logic Pro just launched their new version that is 10.5 version. So when you launch the new Logic Pro, this is what you're going to see. There's empty project and there's also the new live loops. Okay, so when you go to starter grid, there's a lot of templates here that you can use for your projects. Okay, just like everyone else, we are very new at this new version of Logic Pro X. So bear with me for this tutorial. So I open up empty project and I open up electronic drums. Uh, and I open up Apple loops, drag one of the step sequencer loops into the timeline. Okay, this is the new thing, which is the step sequencer. So I'm going to change the drum to trapdoor. And I'm going to clear all the patterns or drums that's inside the step sequencer. And I'm going to create my own drums. You also can adjust velocity like this and there's a lot of things that you can do like note repeat uh, you can change the octave so now I'm going to do note repeat yep uh, just like that it's very easy and simple And there's also this thing called chance inside the step sequencer. Um, it's like uh, how many percent chances you want the note to play. But I'm not going to use that. Okay, one of the new features is this thing called live loops. If you're familiar with machines, Ableton Live, it's pretty much the same. Okay, and one of the new features also is this thing called Quick Sampler. These are the things that we've been waiting for. All you gotta do is just drag and drop. I'm also using the iPad Logic Remote. And this is how the Quick Sampler looks like. It's very straightforward. Okay, what I like that you can choose only white key, only black key or both. Okay, I'm going to bring up the glide. Alright, I'm going to put some echo, some reverb. I EQ it a little bit. And I'm going to start recording. Okay, 
That's not bad. Now I'm going to adjust it a little bit. I'm going to EQ it. I'm going to adjust the reverb. Okay, I'm going to bounce in place because I feel the timing is pretty horrible. And I'm going to quantize the sample. And I make a uh, little changes at the quick sample. A little bit of changes only, but listen to it. Yep, that sounds good. Alright, so there's two parts. Okay, I'm going to bounce that too. And I'm going to mute the MIDI part. I'm going to adjust the pitch with pitch shifter. I think it sounds nicer with this key. And one of the drum loops, I take out the heads. Only leave the kick and the snare. Put some reverb. Okay, next I'm going to find the key of the sample. I'm going to open up Tuner. So it looks like it's in A sharp. A sharp minor. Okay, next I'm going to take out the same quick sampler to record the brass. I have this sample of a brass that I like. So the, the sample is in F. So I change it. And this is the iPad app, which is Logic Remote. I'm going to adjust it a little bit. Okay, next, I'm going to do the bass. Okay, this is from Quick Sampler also, the one of the preset, which is the sub bass, pure sub bass. The sound is quite amazing. Take out the heads. This the bass sounds good. Okay, up next, alchemy. I record a melody on top of that bass. Adjust it a little bit and add some notes until I feel it sounds good. Alright, now I'm going to record some chords with Alchemy. I'm going to use Soft Synth Bells.
I think that's enough. So I'm going to arrange it for now. I'm going to take out the snare and leave the clap and I'm going to increase the volume of the clap Okay, after I increase the velocity, I feel it wasn't loud enough so I increase the clap track Adjust the frequency Take out the high end Okay, now I'm gonna put a riser It's from Apple Loops itself and this is how it sounds like If you notice, I didn't use the live loop because I'm still not used to it And in the Apple also, I found this build up drums or percussion but I only take the last bar for the fills Alright, that pretty much done I put some colors so it looks good my timeline looks good and if you notice I also put some crash Okay, the new Logic Pro 10.5 have this thing called Remix FX but I'm not going to use it for this bit so I think I'm pretty much done if you like this video please subscribe and comment and give me a thumbs up so I think that's pretty much done it's my first time using Logic Pro 10.5 it's a simple bit um, and yeah enjoy Thank you.